So today I want to show you uh, one of the most exciting developments that Constlab has made in the 50 year history. You know, we've always been so focused on the interaction of how the product fits with the teacher, with the student. And we know that our products are made for um, really taking the students faster to the vehicle. So we go from theory, however you're delivering it, uh, and we're trying to get them to the car or to the truck as fast as possible. And for a long time now, we've been working on and thinking about ways that we can change the way that the student and the teacher interact with the product. Um, specifically relating to fault insertion and also to what we call scenarios. So when we're trying to demonstrate diagnostic scenarios. And the way this was done in the past was with a fault box. Um, and that's how we've done things for decades. But today's different because today I'm showing you a new feature on our products. It's called a student learning platform. And it's a touchscreen interface that lets your students and you as the instructor interact with the product in many new ways. So let me show you a little bit more about that. Here I'm going to dive into some of the details. So here we're looking at it from a student's perspective. So a student walks up to the bench, they've now got access to all kinds of great information. They can get into safety warnings. They can see important safety warnings about the bench, learn about the emergency stop, learn about the hot rotating components. They've got access to an operation manual. They've got access to wiring schematics. So engine performance wiring schematics, they can pinch and zoom, get the wire colors, the pin numbers, all the information for the engine performance wiring diagrams. They can get information about the breakout box. So all of the pin identifications for the breakout box are all there. They can access some videos about the product. Scan tool usage, a little bit about engine benches. Well, we've got component locators, so we can see all the various components around the, the, the engine. And then we've got a couple new and exciting menus. So we've got these things called case studies, and this completely changes how the student interacts with the product. This is pure magic because now, Instead of you, the instructor, having to be over the student's shoulder, come over, play with a fault box, do something, you could simply say to your students, today I'd like you to do case study CF02. And what does that mean? Well, let's, let's try it out. We'll fire up the engine. We're going to click on the case study. And it says, start the case study. What just happened? Since the problem, we've got a check engine light on, extended crank, clear the codes before beginning each case study. And this is your student that just created this problem live. You as the instructor, you don't even need to be right here. You could be six feet, two meters. You could be uh, in the other room. And now the student can go through following the OEM diagnostic troubleshooting procedure and they can find what the problem is. So we give them the effect and they go and find the cause. Now, above and beyond all of the student interface, we also have an instructor interface. So if we look here, we've got all these menus that are locked out because we don't want the students to have access. So if you click on one of the locked out menus, you need the teacher pin. So if I enter the pin of 0000, boom, we're in. Now we've got access to all these other menus, instructor's guide, wiring diagram with faults. I'd love to show it to you, but then your students would see where all the faults are, the fault insertion, um, the case studies, and we've got more and more case studies for instructors. So you've got different lessons that have already been created. So we can go in and get coolant temp sensor lessons. We've got four different coolant temp sensor lessons on this engine. And we explain to you exactly what to do, what voltages are going to be changed. It, it's, it's kind of like a preset recipe. Again, we've got dozens of lessons and case studies programmed in here for all kinds of different sensors, for the intake air temp, fuel tank pressure, MAP sensor, uh, CVVT, APP sensor. The other awesome thing about this is that for the student case studies, where on the student side, you had very limited information. It told you just the effect. Well, if you go into that same case study with the instructor's version, so if we go in right here, it tells you the code number, it tells you which pin the students are gonna measure, it tells you the details, the wire color, all of the information that you need 
for that case study is there. So it makes your life so much easier as an instructor. Now we talked about those scenario numbers earlier. You can even create your own. So you can go in kind of old school, put in a fault, and then create a case study from it, enter your information, and it would be scenario number 6622. And you could save all of your information that you want and then create that yourself. So you can create a custom case study and you could assign it both to the students or to the instructors. Now, what's even more exciting is we've got another way that the students can interface with the engine bench. Not only do we have all of these case studies where we, we, we explain the effect, we tell them it's got a check engine light or it's got an extended crank or it runs like crap. We tell them that and we give them instructions. But as an instructor, you can also assign them pretty much anything you want through what's now called a scenario number. So if we go here, we click on scenario number, and here, I'll just fire up the engine, I'll give you guys an example. Engine started running, no codes, runs beautifully. I can give my students the practical assignment today. I go, guys, today you're gonna do a 4001. What is a 4001? Could be a placebo. Could be a placeholder number that does nothing. Could be a number that does something very drastic. Let's see what it does, a 4001. 4001. I don't know what that was, but I can tell you, we can hear the difference and we can smell the difference. So that means that you can assign your students without giving them any information about what the fault or the scenario that you're inserting is. You can assign that to your students with a random number and they can go through and do their diagnostic. The Consolab student learning platform can really change the way you teach using an engine bench. It's gonna change how your students learn. It's gonna make it easier. It's gonna save you time. It's gonna save you setup and energy and let your students explore much more autonomously on their own. So if you wanna find out more about this product and the other Consolab products that are gonna have this uh, same student learning platform integrated into them, uh, you can check us out at consolab.com or you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. Thanks for watching.